hello and welcome once more to my channel thank you so much for coming back and if you are new here you are highly welcome today we are going to be preparing some jollof rice as you can see it's very delicious it looks yummy so before we get into the video please if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe and join my youtube family thank you let's get into the cooking action first of all let's start with our ingredients and on our list today we have some rice some chicken we've got some onions and a lot of onions for that matter we have some oil we have some tomato paste some tomato puree now this tomato blend i added some pepper and reduced it to this point so we have some green bell pepper as well smoked fish We've got some mixed spices. We have our garlic, ginger, rosemary, anise seeds, and star anise. I also added some salt, which I didn't show on camera. Now let's start preparing our jollof rice. First of all, I'm going to chop the onions, the ginger, garlic, and add the other spices and blend it together. Okay, with the blending, I won't be adding the star any seeds. I'll just add it into the meat when I'm seasoning. I'll add a bit of water to help my blender blend easily. Okay, now that our spice blend is ready, let's start seasoning our meat for steaming. So first of all, add the blend mix. I'll add the mixed spice, the star anise seed. I added some salt as well. I also added my seasoning tablets. I used Maggi seasoning tablets for this recipe. <laughs> Steaming our meat, we'll go ahead and fry it and then start the jollof rice preparation. So add some of the chopped onions to my oil. When the oil is hot, and then I'll let it cook for some few minutes and then I'll add my mix blend to it. I'll add one tablespoon of tomato paste, stir it and let it cook for some time. Then I'll add my fresh tomato blend and stir it in as well and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes so that it will be well cooked. Okay, I went ahead and added my smoked fish as well. I dropped in one scotch bonnet pepper and then added my chicken stock. Now, the reason why I dropped the scotch bonnet pepper is I want the scotch bonnet pepper to give it some flavor. I added my three cups of rice. So I added some salt for taste. Now because of the chicken stock, I didn't add so much salt. 
so i just added a little bit of salt and added half a cup of water covered it with some foil paper and then put on my lid okay so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please kindly subscribe like share and leave me a comment thank you so much for subscribing after cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes i checked on my jollof rice which was almost ready so i removed my scotch bonnet pepper added some chopped green pepper and then i covered it for about five more minutes and then my jollof rice was ready A very warm aquaba to all my new subscribers thank you so much for joining the family and to all my returning subscribers thank you very much god bless you i will see you in my next video